Minecrafters and gamers alike, my name is Deadly Deeds and this is Gaming with Deeds. What's up you guys, welcome back to another episode of Gaming with Deeds. This is episode 2 of Yakuza Like a Dragon, man. Just a quick recap, man, I was checking out the game, man, and I'm, you know, I'm still kind of skeptical at this point whether I'm digging it or not, man. So, you know, I, I, I'm going to check out these new characters and see what we can do, but if you like content like this, please make sure you subscribe, please make sure you click that like button, and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you know when these do gaming and tutorials and gaming with these. Got a new video coming fresh out the lab. Also, make sure you join us on our Discord server as well as our Facebook community page, man, where you can get with other individuals, man, get with other creators and grow your channel, man. That's the place to be. I'm your host, Deeds. That's me. Let's jump right into it. That's Hiratsuka. That dude, huh? Do you know him? Forget it. Let's go. Hey there, Hiratsuka-san. Enjoying a little break, are we? Having a smoke while you mooch your ass still owes a ton of money? So you think we won't beat you to a pulp? That other family went easy on you, but we won't. The Arakawa family doesn't fuck around! If you don't want to get hurt, get out your wallet! Hey! You think I won't do it? I can't pay back what I can't pay back. That's all there is to it. I see you're still just coasting on your size, oh great Hiratsuka. How'd you know that nickname? Who the hell are you? Ah, oh, don't you remember, pal? We used to wrestle when we were kids. You thought it was so cool to power bomb other kids, as long as you were the only one big enough to do it. Oh, I remember. You're Soapy Ichi. And if this guy's your pal, that must mean... <laughs> you ended up in the Yakuza. Shocker. And I heard you joined the JSDF, only to flunk out and come crawling back here. Life's a bitch, huh? Yeah, it is. So deal with it somewhere else. No can do, pal. We gotta deal with it right here, because we're Yakuza. See, Yakuza orders are mandatory, and my orders are to get you a wallet. So hand it over. I told you, I don't have any money! Come on, great son. Let's make this easy. All I need is your wallet. I don't want to get rough with you. You understand, right? <laughs> You saying that even a grown-ass man is scared of my power bomb? No, I'm saying I don't want to see the strongest guy in middle school tap out. It'd be a shame if that was your peak. Huh. Sounds like Soapy Ichi needs to taste the dirt again. You want it so bad? Try and take it. Here we go. Tag match, Aniki. Not this time. You be the referee. I want him all to myself. Huh? Quit jabbering, and let's do this. Come on! Well, let's go then. Let's get it in. Ah, uh, what did he put his pull out? What would you pull out, bro? How come I can't block it? I'm got I'm hold oh I gotta hold You're still pretty strong. <sighs> but not strong enough. Say goodbye to your wallet. 
Please, beat me up if that's what your boss wants. But don't take my money! Well, looky here. He did have the cash. This fucking lowlife had no intention of paying it back. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Adiki! Why? Just getting all the junk out of his wallet first, man. Looks more like money to me. All right, great son. Like I said, I only wanted your wallet. Huh? Oh. Okay. Okay, let's go, me too. Hey, Adiki! What's up with you? Why did you take the money? Hiratsuka won't screw us. He'll pay it off. We'll just give him time. How you figure that? You think he's out here working his ass off, doing construction on New Year's Eve just for fun? Didn't you notice what he was smoking? It was just a nub, man. He obviously just picked it up off the ground. Why'd he do that if he had so much cash? Because it's New Year's. He probably wanted to buy his mom a nice meal, so he got some cash out of the bank, you know? That doesn't mean it's okay to be late on his payments. Look, you know that old candy shop just past Showa Street? Uh, yeah, it closed last year, right? What about it? Hiratsuka's mom ran that shop. Really? She closed it because she got sick. Real sick. I went to see her in the hospital, and she was thin as a rail. But even so, she was happy, because her son was back in Kamarocho, taking care of her. So, that money Hiratsuka borrowed was... It was all for her hospital bills. Oh. But, dude, if we go back empty-handed, Captain Sawashiro's gonna kill us! We're not going back empty-handed. We were asked to snatch the dude's wallet. And look, that's exactly what we snatched. You know that's not what the captain meant. Hey, speak of the devil. For real? Hello, this is Ichiban. You're slow. I told you to pick up with the two rings. Sorry, Captain. Don't tell me you're still out there doing collections. Just finished up the last one, sir. I'm about to head back to the office. That'd be great. Except right now you should be with the young master. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'll be there as fast as I can. What good is that? He still has to wait for you. Why are you always slow as shit? I'm sorry, sir. Just move your ass. And don't take him anywhere dumb or dangerous. If anything happens to him under your watch, I'd have to kill you a thousand times. Yes, I know that, sir. So you gotta go play chaperone to the young master? Yeah, damn it. I can't believe I forgot. Me too. Take this back to the office for me. Oh no! I don't want to hand this into the captain. You just let me know when the other master lets you off your leash. Uh, I'll kill time until then. He's like, nah, fuck that shit. I give it an empty wallet to this boss, man. I ain't know none of that. Oh, uh, that was kind of funny. Alright, so yeah, we go ahead this way. Okay, you taking a cab to your masters, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Where is he? Hey, miss! Where's the young master? I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. While I was doing collections. Anything else you want to announce? <clears throat> the 
so sorry. Did you forget what day it is? Uh, of course not. It's Yumino-san's birthday, right? You didn't come without a gift, did you? No, I brought something. It's just, I didn't have much, so it's not the greatest. <laughs> Whatever. As long as you didn't tell Dad about this. You didn't. Did you? No, of course not. If he asks where we went, just tell him we went shopping. Yes, sir. The old fool. He still treats me like a child. He's just worried about you. You mean a lot to him. Don't talk like you know me. <laughs> Sorry. Well, damn. They, I guess the bonding is out the window. <laughs> oh, man. Let's get it. Ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, ephedrine? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate, but it won't last more than a few hours. But how? Uh, how did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. Injected here. You want me to do it, bro? None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. You're a fucking wuss. It worked. Welcome.
Good evening, Masato-san. Oh my goodness, are you all better? I can't believe it. Hey, where's Yumino-san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. As soon as you can? We better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. Hey! I just need a minute with him to explain our situation. Don't worry. I'll be nice. Hey. Hi. Hmm? No. Go. Wow. Sorry it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. <laughs> Who are you? Mm, well, um, how should I put this? I'm the young lady's escort for tonight. <laughs> Ichan, what are you doing? I believe this club is first come, first served. No need to make things complicated. Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. <laughs> what the hell is this? I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up! This is ludicrous. Ludo, what? Use some normal ass words. <laughs> the You're, You're causing a scene, you moron. Sorry. Please excuse my companion here. He's usually better behaved. I find that hard to believe. 
This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. You see, in this industry, they can't treat every customer equally. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. That's so. Besides, that's my girl. I see. I knew you'd understand. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me buy you a drink? Pick anything you'd like. And don't worry about the price. No, thank you. I don't need a drink. <laughs> Not the drinking type. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another one. Take the money. I couldn't accept that. Okay, so what now? Please, I insist. Why insult me by refusing? How no, about thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion in accepting gifts. Where do you get off acting so high and mighty? You've got guts. I'll give you that. What's your name? I suppose you won't stop bothering me until I show you. Unfortunately, I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card. <laughs> wow. Are you even allowed out this late? At a place like this? <laughs> no law against it. Now, why don't you take the lovely lady back to your seat on Cheers! Cheers! Happy birthday, Yumino-san! Such fancy drinks, Yumino-san. You spoil us. Thank you. Hey, are you thanking the wrong person? He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masato-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, it is the most expensive bottle in the house. <laughs> Only natural they'd forget themselves a bit. You know, no, we balling, like you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it ain't you know, that. Master, I'm sorry about all that earlier. That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity? Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this was his first time. So, Yumino-san, what did he get you for your birthday? Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really. You are so cute. I'm jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masato-san. Eiji, show her yours first. Uh, sure. I, I'm not really used to this kind of thing, though, so... Just do it! <laughs> Sorry. I know it's not much. Had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you. And you're the young master's woman. I, I mean, his girlfriend. So that's even harder. But this was the most expensive one they had. Promise. Wow, <laughs> you hate her. What? Ichiban means the best, but I guess there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> we should start calling him Ichiban. Am I right? <laughs> wow, you're super hating. You're so wow, clever. wow, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, what are you gonna do here? No, 
way. Uh, is this real? That's my girl. I knew you'd appreciate its worth. How how much was it? About the price of none of your business. A high end. Not just some dump, of course. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Yubino-san, can I have you at the front for a moment? <laughs> really? Can't you read a room, kid? Ichi, don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. She's just in high demand. Right. Excuse me. I'll be right back. It's okay. Take your time. He's so nice! Well, back to drinking. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. But I don't want to just talk. Let's do something more intimate. Well, we'd have to ask you, Mino. Oh, she'd kill us for sure. But I'd still enjoy being your girl while I could. I'm one too many. Some wingman I am. Horinoluchi-san, wait! Please, wait! I'm going home. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is he? Masato-san? He's... well, he's the son of a Yakuza. How do you stand the man? Well, of course to you, he's not a man. He's a big walking wallet. Stop! This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Just now he gave me something super expensive and said next time it'll be a condo. So? You can turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. And if he found out, what do you think he'd do to me? <laughs> Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. Yes, I know you would. And you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy them love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there and squeeze him dry. <laughs> okay. See you later. Wow. 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 And what you and what you think gonna happen if he go tell him that? You know what I mean? See, that's a, that's a crazy situation to be in. You feel me? His boy gonna be mad at him for him telling him, and not probably don't believe him, and all that old type of stuff. What, young master? How long have you been there? Um, young master? So, did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. All right. Well, looks like this is where we're going to end today's episode. Once again, 
I'm your host, Deez. Check you out on the next episode.